there's a theory that the Gatay, a tribe that inhabited what are now the modern nations of Bulgaria and Romania in classical antiquity, were actually Jats or at least the ancestors of modern Jats. Do you think this theory could be true? The Gatay, the Masagate. The Masagate defeated the Persian Emperor Kurush. They had a queen called Tomirish who took his head off. So what's the question? What's the deal about the Gatay and the Masagate? Are they con connected to India's Jats? For that, I will refer you to an article by Professor Subhash Kak. Okay, Subhash Kak. Uttara Kuru and the Jats. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Uttar Kuru in the Jats. So what does the article say? Uh, Professor Subhash Kak has been on my podcast multiple times. Uh, great scholar. Uh, not now. So the Saka. So let's go to, to the portion about the, the Gathe and the Masagathe. So Herodotus, the Greek historian, says that one of the Scythian tribes was the Masagathe, Sanskrit Mahajat. And it was settled somewhere in the Great Plains to the east of the Caspian Sea. Ptolemy's Geography 6102 says they're much further south near Kashmir. They were also simply called the Gatai or in Sanskrit, Jat and Thisagate, Tishyajat. Uh, the uh, Frankish Benedictine monk Rabanus Maurus stated the Masagate are in origin from the tribe of the, of the Scythians and are called Masagate as in heavy, Maha, as in strong Gathe. Uh, during Alexander's campaign in Western India, there were rebellions of the Sogdians, Bactrians and the Masagate. From this, it may be concluded that they were to the south of the Bactrians and thus situated squarely in Punjab. They, were, they are also seen as neighbors of the Ashwakas, which is apparently the early form of the name Avagana for the Afghans used by the Indian astronomer Varahamihir. When Arabs entered Sindh in the 7th century, the Jats were the chief tribe they met and they called them Zat or Al-Zat. Right? We have discussed that last week, the Al-Zats. This shows that, that the Jats were spread all the way from Sindh to Afghanistan and beyond. Shiva is called Jat and Mahajat in the Mahabharat and the Shiva Stotra, indicating that he was a leading deity of the Jat, for the Jat people. How do we know that the language of the Jats was Aryan or Indo-Aryan? The Jats form about 25% of the population of Haryana and Punjab, and they are also present in large numbers in Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and other, other states. If they were an intrusive group from Central Asia with a different language, they would have been able to maintain their separate speech, just as large intrusive groups in Europe and Asia have done over centuries. The most famous Jat of ancient history, like I said, is Queen Tomirish. Sanskrit Tamri, named after a daughter of Daksha. She, she defeated and killed the Emperor Kurush Cyrus in 530 BC. And Herodotus describes her great victory. Okay. Um, yeah, so in Europe, the, the, the Gate were considered similar or equivalent to the Thracians, who not surprisingly worshipped Dionysius, the Greek form of Shiva and the goddess Bendis Artemis, who is seen as equivalent to Durga. So that is, you, you can look up the article, it's called Uttar Kuru in the Jats, it's by Professor Subhash Kak, and you can read it in more detail in your own time. So the deal is, the, the Gathe and the Masagathe were, were Scythian tribes, Scythians, the Sthakas. The Sakas themselves were of Indian origin, just as the Kushans were. And the Masagate and the Gate eventually, you, you see, they, they found their way into India and they spoke an Indo-Aryan language. Otherwise, they would have been main, able to maintain their, their foreign language because they were present in such large numbers. So that is the deal about the Gathe and the Jats, the connection is that the Gathe and the Jats are the same people. 